Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, <coughs> selfish, and unkind. But then, one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast?
way she's from the pop. Very different from the rest of us. She's nothing like the rest of us. Yes, different from the rest of us. She's a... I got it! Oh, wow! You didn't miss a shot, Gaston. You're the greatest hunter in the whole world. I know. You'll be still alive, stands a chance against you. It's for the food, and I've got my sights set on that one. The inventor's daughter? She's the one, the lucky girl I'm going to have. But she's the most beautiful girl in town. I knew that that makes her the best. And don't I deserve the best? Well, of course you do. Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. Here in town there's only she. Was beautiful as me, so I'm making plans to marry Belle. The best he goes, ever keep dreaming. But you, Gaston, I'll help you. <laughs> it's him, my heart, I'm not a dream. He's such a strong, strong and handsome. Hello. Hello. Always say that. I mean it this time. 
time. I will never get that bone-headed contraption to work. Yes, you will. And you win first prize at the fair tomorrow. Who? And become a world-famous inventor. You, you really think so? You know I do. I always have. Well, let's get cracking then. This thing's not going to fix itself, you know. <laughs> now, where do I put that wrench? Papa. Oh, thank you. So, did you have a nice time in town today? I, I got you a book. You do love those books. Well, they take me away to wonderful places where there's adventure and mystery and romance and happy endings. Papa, if I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Don't I always? Do you think I'm odd? My daughter? Odd? Here we go! It works! 
with jealous, but it's not going to work this time. What about you? With Simone? Jacques? Michel? Pierre? Kylie? Kylie? <laughs> Six foot four. 
And each one stuffed with every cast on you. I'm not hearing you. You'll be keeping the house with pride. Just incredible. Each day gratified. So unwinnable. And you are part of this side you they see. Picture this. A rusty hunting lodge. My latest kill. A rusty on the fire. My little life. Massaging. While the little ones play on the floor with the dogs. Oh, we'll have six or seven. Dogs? No, Belle. Strapping young boys like me. Imagine that. I can see that we will share all that love implies. We shall be the perfect pair.
the master's chair. Blah, blah, blah. I was trying to be hospitable. <laughs> Mark Hogsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? Look at us. Look at you. <laughs> What about me? Oh, you always were insufferable, but every day you become a little more inflexible, a little more tightly wound, a little more ticked off. <laughs> Please, spare me the stupid parts. Oh, well, at least we are not as far gone as some of the others. You saw what happened to Michelle. She was always too vain about her looks. That's exactly what she's become. Her vanity. Who draws mirrors to wax. And poor Jean-Claude. Jean who? Jean-Claude. Do you remember him? Uh, not bright, dumb as a... They, they, they break. Oh, no, 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 mon ami. The whole wall. <laughs> Jean-Claude is a brick wall. That's him in the kitchen, behind the stove. And we are the house boy. That merely mouth little bootlicker. I never liked him. Always groveling at the master's feet. He's a doormat. <laughs> but it is happening faster with some of the others. But we are not far behind. Slowly but surely, as every day passes, we will all gradually become things. But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? It's not like we threw that poor old beggar went out on our ear. No. But are we not responsible too for making him the way he is? I suppose so. All I know is, one day I will melt away into nothing. I only hope that something left of me if the master ever breaks this spell. <laughs> hold on, old man. <clears throat> to hold on. Hello! Please! 
I said there is nothing you can do. Take me instead, Phil! What did you say? Take me instead. You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes. But you must promise to stay here.
as Gascon, no one's quick as Gascon, no one's next as incredibly thick as Gascon. Well, there's no man in town half as manly, perfect, a pure paragon. You can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they prefer to be on.
These things take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. <sighs> it's no use. She's so beautiful. And I? Well, look at me! He's got your eyes. Oh, sir! <laughs> Master, you must help her to see past all of that. I don't know how. Well, you could start by <laughs> trying to make yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And, and above all, with what? You must control your temper.
such a bad fellow. Why don't you give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no. But once you get to know him, I don't want to get to know him. I don't want anything to do with him. I'm just full of myself. I've never seen his anything. How long must this go on? This cruel trick of fate. I simply made one careless wrong decision. And then that which was gone and left me in this state. An object of revulsion and derision. Hate, hate. Is there no one who can show me how to win the world? Forgive me. No. No. What did they say? You shower her with compliments. Impress her with your wit. Out. Like a gentleman. Out. Like a gentleman. Try the taste stuff. It's delicious. 
don't believe me, ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. After all, this is his rats. And the dinner here is never second place. Go on and fall your man. You take a glance and then you'll be our guest. We be our guest. Be our guest. We track you.
Jolly good show! Jolly good show, everyone is! Oh my goodness, look at the time! Well, off to bed. Oh, I couldn't possibly go to bed yet. It's my first time in an enchanted castle. Enchanted? Who said anything about the castle being enchanted? It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> I figured it out for myself. <laughs> if it's all right, I'd like to take a look around. Oh, perhaps you would like it too. Wait a minute. We can't have you know who poking around you know where, if you know what I mean. Ah. Perhaps you'd like to take me on a tour. I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, actually, <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> now, if you'll draw your attention to our hand-painted ceilings, complete with cherubs, frolicking in the light of Mr. Nymphs, centaurs, and unicorns. <laughs> Act like a gentle man. There's not the slightest trace 
don't, don't do that. That hurts. <laughs> well, if you'd hold still, it wouldn't hurt as much. Well, if you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you should have been in the West Wind. You should learn to control your temper. <laughs> now hold still. This may sting up. <laughs> By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, that's more like it. I knew they could get along if they tried. Oh, so the ice is broken. Ah, to the worst. And not one moment too soon, either. Have you taken a look at the rose, lady? It's beginning to lose petals at an alarming rate. Not to mention the fact that I can hardly bend over at all anymore. Clearly, it is time for us to give them a little push. We must find a nice romantic way to draw them closer together. I have just the thing. How about we warm you to up a bit with a nice bowl of soup? So, trust me. <laughs> There's something sweet and almost kind. But he was mean and he was coarse and not refined. But now he's dear and so mature. I wonder why I didn't see him there before.
No. Oh, you don't know what you're missing out on. I'd love to read it again. Wait, you can read it first. No, you. No, you. No, you. No, you. No. no. I can't. You never learned to read? Only a little. And long ago. Well, it just so happens this is the perfect book to read about. Come here, sit by me. Well, who would have thought? Well, bless my soul. Well, who indeed? And who would have guessed they come together on their own? It's so peculiar. Wait and see. A few days more. There may be something there that wasn't there before. Perhaps there's something there that <laughs> Maybe something there that wasn't there before. What? Shh, I'll tell you when you're older. Oh. Yes, dear. Will I ever get to be a real boy again? I hope so. When will I know? Soon. If it's to be, it will be very soon. Knowing not that this is indeed the legendary sword called Excalibur, Arthur tried to pull it from the stone. He tried once, but to no avail. He tried a second time, but still he could not pull it out. Then, for the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword. So that must mean he's the king! Wait and see. I knew you books could do that. Do what? Take me away from this place and make me forget.
no one could ever make her smile again. That's the end. I 
Never as before. 
changed. How? Oh, <laughs> 
monster. He's not the monster, Gaston. You are! She's as crazy as the old man! She says this creature's a friend! I'm hunting wild beasts and I've seen what they can do. The beast will make up with your children. They'll come after them in the oh, night. You would never do that! Forget the old man. I say we kill the beast! Yeah! Thank you. 
along with her, weren't you, beast? <laughs> That's a good one. Did you really think a girl like that would want a thing like you? What a fool! <laughs>
Oh, my dear, you are wonderful. 